Welcome back. What you see here is a picture of a synthetic drug we received from the St. Mary's Parish Sheriff's Office in Louisiana. And now the Houston Chronicle is reporting it may be making its way into Texas. It's called Gray Death for its concrete-like appearance, and it started showing up in 2017. The St. Mary Parish Sheriff says it's been the first time it's been found in his state before making its way into Louisiana. Gray Death, which is a mixture of heroin, fentanyl, and a large animal tranquilizer, has been reported in Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Indiana, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. Officers were conducting a gray death drug bust when he accidentally inhaled some of the drug at the scene and that caused him to overdose which led to medical experts to say even as much as touching the drug can be hazardous to your health. To help us separate fact from fiction let's send it over to Sydney at our news desk. All right, Robert, thank you. Yeah, we do have some special guests with us in the studio today. Austin Travis County EMS Captain Krista Sedman, thank you for being here. And then Associate Medical Director Dr. Heidi Abraham, thank you guys for being here. I understand, are you from Ohio? Yep, so I actually did my medical training in the heart of uh, opiate addiction country in Dayton, Ohio. I moved here so, from Ohio, so I am oh, very really? familiar. Okay. We've covered a lot of opioid uh, cases there. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, it might sound foreign to, to folks here sure. in Central Texas, although the opioid epidemic is making its way into Texas, obviously. But can you kind of talk us through what these different drugs are that make up the synthetic drug? Sure. So heroin, uh, fentanyl, and carfentanil are all different types of opiates uh, or narcotics. And basically those act on certain receptors in the body that cause a decrease in breathing rates um, and some changes in blood pressure and heart rates also. But the biggest problem is that they make you stop breathing, essentially, if you take too much of them. And so uh, coming into contact with gray death, as mm -hmm. we mentioned when Robert was talking, even just having exposure to it like the officer did, that can be problematic, right? It's that dangerous? So so it's really not. Okay. Um, and there's actually a lot of hype about this, and it's important to, to emphasize that um, medical experts from the American Board of Toxicology, uh, emerg emergency medicine, multiple experts across the board agree you really can't overdose on this just by touching it. Okay. Uh, because if you think about it, if, if you can overdose on it just by touching it, why, why would anybody need to inject it or snort it or you know, inhale it in any other means? Um, so touching it is really not that harmful um, and, and can't cause deaths or overdoses or anything like that. Obviously, still not something we want people to be coming sure, into. Sure, I mean, you should with. still exercise caution, yeah. especially if it's a substance you don't know about. But, uh, you know, you, you cannot die from just touching or being in the same room as this kind of substance. Got it. Yeah. it maybe it's not as prevalent here yet, it's certainly helpful to be aware of it. What are you guys, though, seeing a lot of as far as opioids making their way into our community and what kind of efforts are you guys uh, working on to help people struggling with, with opioid addiction? Right, so so obviously the, the opiate um, epidemic is, is present in Austin and in Texas and all around the country. Um, we have not seen any of the gray death yet here um, in town. Uh, I pulled some quick statistics just before I came over. Um, and just since January 1, we've had uh, 40 confirmed calls for opiate overdoses. Um, of those, 30 patients have been transported to the hospital. Um, 10 have refused transport. The majority of those were heroin. Um, there was a, a small handful that was a polypharmaceutical overdose, so methamphetamine, heroin, Xanax all combined. Um, one of those, 40, was fentanyl. Um, so one of the things that we're doing with our community health program is they actually have an opiate program that started in the summer of 2018. Um, and since then they have seen 500 confirmed overdoses. They have followed up with 360 of those patients to get them um, enrolled in treatment, to get them Narcan kits that we pass out. Um, so, so far we've passed out 222 Narcan kits. Of those 222, we have 57 confirmed overdose resuscitations where the, wow. the patient was successfully resuscitated prior to the arrival of EMS as the direct result of a kit that we passed out. Really impressive. Um, so, so what the community health paramedics are doing is tremendously important, um, and they're really, really making a huge difference. All right, thank you guys so much for shedding light on this topic and letting us know how you guys are actively working on it in our community. Thanks so much, Captain Krista Sedman and Dr. Heidi Abraham. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely.